Baguio. For some reason, I can't get enough of your vibe. There's something about this place that I keep going back to visit. For you guys watching, the Cordillera region has a way of bringing me back, giving you guys a reason to visit. In today's video, I'll show you a historical hotel I've stayed in, the delicious food I ate, and the places that I visited that made my Baguio adventure even more enjoyable. So, are you ready? Cause I'm sure you'll enjoy my travel for today. So guys, let me give you a tour of Casa Valiejo. So this is a century-old hotel. It's the oldest hotel here in Luzon. So once you enter this door over here, you'll be greeted by a very lovely lobby. Just behind me are the different rooms that you can stay in. So there are a total of 24 rooms. It consists of a standard room that's good for two, a family room good for four, and there's also a couple suite. One of the biggest advantage of staying here in Casa Vallejo is eating at Hill Station. I mean, they have a lot of variety of foods that you can try and it's definitely something that you shouldn't miss if ever you stay here in Casa Vallejo. Hill Station is one of Baguio's popular restaurants. They offer robust dishes that blend the spicy flavors of Asia's mountain towns with the taste of Old World Europe and New World America. Besides Hill Station, the Casa Vallejo also houses other tenants and their businesses that will keep you occupied during your staycation. Since Casa Valdejo is conveniently located near major locations like SM Baguio and Session Road, my friends and I decided to head out and check out the places we spontaneously explored. Burnham Park, a park that is designed by an American architect and urban planner named Daniel Hodgson Burnham. The park has a lot of activities from biking, strolling, picnicking, boating, or just simply chilling around the park. Mirador Heritage and Echo Park Take a walking tour of this beautifully created attraction where you get to visit areas that allow you to admire nature and the views Baguio City gives. It will take a little hike but each of the sites is worth visiting. Here's a pro tip. If you wake up before sunrise, the best place to take pictures is the bamboo forest. But if you will visit during sunset, the best area is the Meridor Peace Memorial, which has this Japanese themed decor overlooking the view of La Trinidad. Since we saw La Trinidad, we decided to visit the places around that area. We ended up visiting the Valley of Colors, which is a residential area where the houses are painted different colors. I wish they maintained the valley because there are a lot of wires covering the view. Afterwards, we checked out Strawberry Farm of La Trinidad. Your Cordillera adventure won't be complete without checking this vast farm. If the strawberries are in season, you can opt to do strawberry picking. Other things to do is also buy Pasalumanga Dollar Center, eat strawberry products, and even buy vegetables that are cheaper than the ones in Manila. If you visit Baguio during the Burr months, then you should check out this seasonal attraction that only happens when the festive season happens. The Baguio Country Club holds an annual Christmas village. This year, they set up an Asian theme. Your friends and family will enjoy the different characters dressed up in Japanese and Korean outfits. Snow falling, a nativity show, and a live band playing. Baguio City is one of the many places you can visit in the Cordillera region, and there are so many places and activities to do. What is your Baguio City experience? Share your experience in the comment section. For more videos like this, consider subscribing. This is Joe Serrano and I'll see you in the next video. See you guys.